Hello everyone. Uh, so here's another short video. Uh, this time I wanted to show you how to copy files from a remote server to your local computer or vice versa using a bash command line shell. So on the screen I have three windows open. On the left I am inside a directory named demo. Uh, on the right I have the file explorer, explorer so finder for Mac open and the bottom one I'm going to connect to my remote location. So I'm going to just connect SCS246 to the linux.student.cs.uwaterloo.ca environment. Uh, and I, in particular, want to go to a directory called SCP test. And I have a file a0.pdf here. And now, so remember, this file is sitting in the student environment, so on a remote computer, and I want to copy it over to my local computer. In particular, I want to copy it into my demo directory here. The command to use is scp, so let's type that in, scp, and then the source, the file that I want to copy, so that's scp, sitting in scp-test in my student account, so let's give the full path to that, cs246 at linux.student.cs.uwaterloo.ca. So that's just the server's address in there. So I put a colon and then a path within that account. So the directory scp-test slash a0.pdf. So that was the source. And where do I want to copy it? Well, I want to copy it right here within the demo directory. So I can use dot to represent the current directory. Or alternately, I could give it a different name, simon0.pdf. Press enter, and it's been copied. Now again, uh, you will probably be asked for a password. The reason I wasn't asked for a password is because I've got my student account on the Linux servers configured to trust this particular laptop. Let's do a ls and notice that the file is there. That file is also has also appeared in my finder window. If you didn't notice that, let's do the command again, scp from the student account file a0.pdf. This time maybe I'll put a dot. And if you keep looking at the finder window when I press enter, that file appears and now I can open it and start working on that file. 